All right, friends, let's take a look at solo leveling episode nine. Let's do a quick recap. Jinu is trying to downplay his skills, but it's pretty obvious to his friends that he's different now, though they're not sure how strong he has become yet. So the three criminals, we find out this week that the man making a request for people to die, that man was requesting Taishik to kill these three criminals. Surprise. Uh, the criminals assaulted that man's daughter, she hung herself, and they'll be out of jail in a few years, and the father does not want to see that happen. So he's offering Taishik uh, 3 billion won to kill those men. Taishik does kill the men during the dungeon raid, but he also kills Mr. Kim and Kong because they caught him in the act. So, we see here, Taishik, he doesn't just take the job for money, and he doesn't just kill bad people. He loves, and he admits himself, he loves killing humans. He loves murder. Uh, for the, the money, he would have killed a criminal or a totally innocent person. So, it's time for Jinwoo to show off his strength now. In front of Juhi and Mr. Kim, he has to, because Taishik is going to kill all of them so that there are no witnesses. So uh, the fight begins. Uh, Taishik, Jinu, they are very uh, well matched in speed, in size, and they're pretty close in power, but uh, Jinu's poison debuffs go a long way to help him. Uh, his active skill, uh, Murderous Intent, another name for it, Bloodlust. This is one that can really make the difference. So it induces fear in his opponents. It also decreases their strength. I read up to 50% is what I read. Um, maybe someone can confirm that. But either way, it decreases their strength uh, and their abilities. So after this, Jinu is able to easily come in and take down Taishik. Now, as he's dying, Taishik tries to imply that the two of them are kind of similar, but Taishik just loves murder. Uh, Jinu is on a quest for strength. You know, the only reason he's fighting another human now and fought other humans before was because they threatened his life. When that happens, the system goes into self-preservation mode. It says, hey, we recognize this human is a threat. It's trying to kill you. You, mu you have to kill them. You have to defend yourself. All right. Cool episode, and uh, just a quick thought, you know, as whenever I do a little research sometimes, looking into doing these things, like when I look up certain characters, I'm immediately hit with things uh, from like the end of the entire manhwa, like stuff about Cha Hain and all, and it's, it totally spoils things. Uh, just remember as you're watching this stuff, you know, this is it's entertainment, just enjoy. Um, you don't have to know everything about the characters before you go. You know, some people feel like, oh, I, I've got to know everything about every character and what happens all the way to the end uh, before I go into these episodes. Just remember, just relax, have fun, uh, follow the stories as they come out of the progressions, the character developments. You know, it's not a test. It's entertainment. Just enjoy. If you like to look ahead, that's totally awesome. But if you're someone who gets more enjoyment out of just following along, being surprised each week, learning new things each week, hey, that's awesome too. It's all it's all about whatever brings you the most joy with this stuff. It's it's entertainment. So let me know what you thought, and thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, I will see you next time.